Hello friends, it's me, Michael, with the resale room. <laughs> the kinds of things you find at uh, thrift stores, sometimes you just can't give them up. Anyway, welcome to the resale room. I'm Michael Masters, helping you to create your best side hustle with eBay resale. Uh, one of you guys recently asked me a question about what kinds of stuff I've been selling during the lockdown. And I just figured that I'd put together a fun little slideshow and share with you a handful of those items from the date that the shelter in place order went into effect, which was March 23rd here in Michigan. Let's take a look. Okay, here is a National Graphic Ge National Geographic magazine. I was able to um, get two huge boxes of these things for 20 bucks that I spent in. There must have been 60 to 80 of these uh, in there. So um, for 20 bucks, Let's see, I sold this one here for $7.95 and they paid the shipping on it. Here's another one that I sold right after that. I, I, lit, I picked these up at an estate sale. It was like just before March 23rd when the order went into place. I mean, already they those two sales had paid for the box of magazines. Here is the Wilton chocolate and candy melting pot. And my girlfriend just, she knew that I was looking for some items. So she said, here, why don't you list this one? We're not using it. Um, and I think my daughter used it one time. So it was a used item, but we were still able to get $24.95 for that one. And here is the Carlon Wired Door Chime Doorbell. I found this at a Goodwill. $21.95 we got for that. And they paid the shipping on it as well. Here is a Pampered Chef Cherry and Olive Pitter. You know, because during lockdown, people do need to pit their cherries and their olives. But um, this thing was exceptionally light. I only paid like a buck for it. And then we got $22.95 for that one. Here's the fellow's office chair back support. Um, this one, I actually had, I bought it for myself at the, at a Goodwill. And I, I thought I'd try it out. I didn't really care for the way that it felt. On, on the chair that I had at the time. So we ju just decided to resell this and got $19.95 for it. I spent three on it. Okay, here's the Graphique Barbie Fashionista 20 blank greeting cards. Um, I've picked these up before. I've seen these at a Goodwill before. And uh, so I knew, I didn't even have to source these. I knew they were a good item. The only thing with stuff like this is you guys just gotta make sure that all 20 cards are in there, all 20 envelopes. And so um, everything was there, was able to sell that for $22.95. And then here we have the Highwear Glass Teapot. Um, this thing was in really, really good shape. Um, it was an open box item, so I was able to get a good look in there. And um, every, everything was packaged up as if it were new, had all the little bubble wrap, individually placed items, really clean and neat looking. So um, we sold that for $18.95. Here is an inflatable moose head. <laughs> this thing, um, you gotta have these, I guess, you know, during lockdown, it's, it's vital to have something to keep you company while you're sitting there watching your favorite show. We got $11.95 for this and they paid the shipping on it. Here is a fuller brush, full crystal window cleaner. I got it at a thrift store and sold it for $17.95. Here's an Aquion. 20 inch black strip light. This goes on top of uh, aquariums, fish tanks. I was able to test this in the store too, I remember. Sold that for $29.95. Uh, the Propera Herb Saver. This sold for $21.95. Um, I, I don't know a lot about herbs. Basil is my favorite herb. I will throw it on um, anything that has cheese usually, and there's everything usually has cheese. Um, that I like. Cheese is one of my favorite items to eat outside of peanut butter. Nevertheless, you don't need to be an expert in the herb world uh, to sell something like this. And here is the Mava Gel Cotton Sleep Eye Mask. This thing was pretty light, so I was able to ship it for first class. I got $12.45 for it. And so, you know, after shipping, um, we're looking at maybe eight seven eight bucks in uh, profit which is not like anything to to call home about but uh, when you have a solid inventory of of a bunch of these items that does add up and um, i'm definitely willing to always pick up anything that as long as it doesn't exceed my minimum profit which is like five six bucks 
Well, that just about does it for us. Um, if you're curious about whether your stuff is valuable or not, you can put them to the test with the free sourcing worksheet. You don't need to know anything about eBay to use it. I'll walk you through it step by step. So just click the link in the description to get a hold of your free worksheet. And uh, thanks for spending some time with me today. Leave any questions you have here in the comments and I'll talk to you soon.